right, here's the question. Who is sexier? Somebody with the expensive car, the $400 hairstyle, the $1,000 outfit, or the person wearing the bargain basement clothing, driving the Prius? Well, it very well may be the latter. Jennifer Waters is a columnist for MarketWatch.com. And the headline of your story, let me read it here. Oh, that's very fascinating. Are frugal people more attractive? And I guess from reading your article, you can't argue with psychology. <laughs> no, you can't. And I'll tell you, it's not even just are they more attractive. But are they sexier? Are they hotter? And basically what this study found, and this is a study out of the University of Michigan, found that it didn't matter if you said Joe Schmo, if he was attractive or not, if you put his picture up, the women would say he was attractive. The same thing with Jane Doe. She was attracted to if she was a saver. And we're talking about savers, not cheapskates, but savers. All right. Well, what is it about savers? Do we give off some energy that suggests we're a saver? Well, it's all about relationship control. And it's all about, you know, like anybody who's tried to save money knows that it is really all about control. Who doesn't like to spend money? So when you are saving money, you're controlling your impulses to spend. So now we can push, push that onto other layers of your life. Can you control your eating? Can you control your drinking? Can you control your self your mouth? discipline? Self discipline, self control, and being a nicer, friendlier person because of it. Well, what is it like? Uh, how can we tell when somebody has these qualities, say, on a first date? You, I was going to say, even yeah. on a first date, you can tell these things. It's basically the difference between a saver and a cheapskate is somebody who it pains them to separate money from themselves. They don't, they don't want to give a tip, at the, for the example, to the wait, waitress or waiter because they might not want to give away that extra money. A saver, on the other hand, will know that, you know, that that's not the place to save money because that's somebody's livelihood. So that saver will know, you know what, if I'm going to go out and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it the right way and I'll cut back on something later. So it's just almost as though they had empathy as well. Exactly. But a saver also is like saving for something bigger. It's not, And that's the difference between a cheap skate and a saver as well. A saver is going to say, listen, I'm not going to have that extra drink or that extra latte or whatever. I'm going to save that money maybe for a vacation, maybe for a nice gift for this significant yeah. other, you know, something like that. And that's the person that makes the better uh, partner and ultimately spouse. Right, because they're in self-control. Jen Waters, thanks so much. Thank you.